Hamid bin Jassim bin Jabba bin Muhammad El Thani is a former politician in Qatar. He was the Prime Minister of Qatar from April 3, 2007 to June 26, 2013, and Foreign Minister from January 11, 1992 to June 26, 2013. Early life, Hamid was born in Doha, Qatar, on August 30, 1959. He is the fifth son of Jassim bin Jabir Al Thani. Through his father, he is the grandson of Jabir bin Muhammad Al Thani. Jabir was a younger brother of Jassim bin Muhammad Al Thani, the founding father of the modern Qatar and first Hakim of the state. Career Between 1982 and 1989, Hamid was the director of the Office of the Minister of Municipal Affairs and Agriculture. In July 1989, he was appointed Minister of Municipal Affairs and Agriculture and in May 1990, he was appointed Deputy Minister of Electricity and Water along with his post as Minister of Municipal Affairs and Agriculture, where he supervised several successful projects and developed the agriculture sector. On September 1, 1992, Hamid was appointed as Foreign Minister of Qatar by the 8th Emir. He was retained in his post when the Emir, Hamid bin Khalifa Al Thani came to power in a coup in 1995. Hamid played an important role in the overthrow of the 8th Emir. On September 16, 2003, Hamid was appointed first Deputy Prime Minister while retaining his position of Minister of Foreign Affairs. On April 2, 2007, he was appointed as Prime Minister, following the resignation of Abdullah bin Khalifa Al Thani. Hamid also continued to serve as Foreign Minister. Hamid was reported to have had strong connections with the U.S. government. He serves on the International Advisory Council of the Brookings Institution and chairs the International Advisory Council of the Brookings Doha Center. He has stakes in many strong businesses such as Qatar Airways and the Foreign Investment Company, Qatari Dia Real Estate Investment Company, the Pearl and Harrods. He is a partner in Project Grand, the developer of One High Park in London, United Kingdom. Additionally, Hamid held several other key positions including member of the Supreme Defense Council, which was established in 1996. Head of Qatari Euro Unregistered Trademark S Permanent Committee for the Support of Al Qads, which was formed in 1998. Member of the Permanent Constitution Committee, formed in 1999. Member of the Ruling Family Council, which was established in 2000 and member of the Supreme Council for the Investment of the Reserves of the State, which was established in 2000. Hamid was the first Arab politician received by Nicolas Sarkozy after the latter's election to the French presidency in May 2007. The French government made of Qatar under Hamid's guidance a strategic partner, and the list of partnerships between the two states includes Total, EADS, Technip, Air Liquide, Vinci SA, GDF Suez, and other. France was, under the Hamid government, the primary arms supplier to the Emirate. In February 2009, under the Sarkozy government, France accorded special beyond OCDE investment privileges to Qatar, its ruling family and its state-owned enterprises. One example of the privileges is capital gains exemptions in France. The U.S. Embassy to Doha claimed, in a cable disclosed in December 2010 by WikiLeaks, that Sheikh Hamid told then U.S. Senator John Kerry that he had proposed a bargain with the Egyptian president, Hosni Mubarak, which involved stopping broadcasts in Egypt in exchange for a change in Cairo's position on Israel-Palestinian negotiations, and that we would stop Al Jazeera for a year if Mubarak agreed in that span of time to deliver a lasting settlement for the Palestinians. On June 25, 2013, Hamid bin Khalifa Al Thani abdicated as Emir of Qatar, and on the next day, June 26, Hamid resigned from office. He was replaced by Abdullah bin Nasser bin Khalifa Al Thani as Prime Minister and by Khalid bin Muhammad Al Latiyal as Foreign Minister. On July 3, Hamid was also relieved from the post of Deputy Head of the Qatar Investment Authority. Equals mediation efforts equals. Hamid has worked actively to settle political conflicts in both Africa and the Middle East over the last 20 years. In 2010, 
he led the mediation efforts that resulted in the signing of the peace agreement between Djibouti and Eritrea to settle their border dispute and thereby paving the way for broader peace talks to end the six-year conflict in the region. According to the negotiated peace declaration, the two parties pledged to give peaceful means AA Euro a strategic priority to settle the conflict in Darfur Euro, and to take the required measures to create a Euro or an opportune environment to achieve a lasting settlement a Euro, including the halting of a Euro or inconvenience to the displaced and ensuring the flow of relief i.e. a Euro. The parties furthermore committed themselves to prisoners swap and the release of those who were detained due to the dispute. In 2009, he assisted in the settlement agreement between Sudan and Chad. The civil war in Chad began in December 2005. On February 8, 2006 the Tripoli Agreement was signed, which temporarily stopped the fighting. However, hostilities resumed after two months, leading to several new agreement attempts and a final settlement between the two parties in 2009. In 2009, Hamed participated in brokering a peace agreement to end the conflict in Darfur between the government of Sudan and Justice and Equality Movement. The pact also opened up to the rest of factions in Darfur. He participated in mediation of ceasefire in Yemen between the government of Yemen and the Houthi movement in 2007. In 2010, the two parties agreed to activate the agreement after confrontations threatening the ceasefire. The mediation ended a six-year war between the two sides. In 2007, Hamid helped organize the Lebanese National Dialogue and the peace agreement between various Lebanese political groups to end the worst internal fighting in Lebanon since the Civil War of 1975 to 1990. In an attempt to resolve a broader political showdown that had paralyzed the country for 18 months, Hamid summoned the Lebanese government and Hezbollah-led opposition to Qatar for talks. He declared an agreement sponsored by the Arab League to deal with the Lebanese crisis. In the agreement the parties pledged, a Euro Oeto refrain from returning to the use of weapons or violence to realize political gains. The Lebanese government furthermore committed itself to introduce a new electoral law designed to provide better representation in the country's sectarian system of power sharing. Hamad was instrumental in creating the peace settlement between Sudan and Eritrea in 1998. The undemarcated border with Sudan had posed a problem for Eritrean external relations for most of the nation's existence. He negotiated a peace settlement between Sudan and Eritrea. After the agreement was signed, relations somewhat normalized. In 1996, he worked to settle a brief war between Eritrea and Yemen over the Hanish Islands. As part of the agreement to cease hostilities the two nations agreed, through the negotiating effort of Hamad, to refer the issue to the Permanent Court of Arbitration at The Hague in 1998. Yemen was granted full ownership of the larger islands while Eritrea was awarded the peripheral islands to the southwest of the larger islands. Since then relations between the two governments have remained relatively normal. Hamad facilitated the agreement that led to a unity constitution in Yemen in May 1990, ratified by the populace in May 1991. It affirmed Yemen's commitment to free elections, a multi-party political system, the right to own private property, equality under the law, and respect of basic human rights. Parliamentary elections were held on April 27, 1993. Hamed also has been involved in ongoing efforts between Fatah and Hamas to achieve Palestinian reconciliation to activate the peace process with Israel. Of other humanitarian initiatives, he has facilitated the release of prisoners, including the five Lebanese prisoners in Eritrea. He supported the effort to release Mr. Noor Sharif, the former Prime Minister of Pakistan from jail, and was instrumental in freeing the Bulgarian nurses in Libya from prison. He has opened Qatar to political refugees in the Muslim and Arab worlds. During the Bosnian conflict of the 1990s, he secured large quantities of food, medicine and other items to the Bosnian population. In November 2010 he launched the Humanitarian Appeal 2011 in Doha, together with the United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs and the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. The initiative is set to help improve the living conditions for millions of people affected by humanitarian crises around the world. BAE Systems Controversy
following courting by Michael Portillo Qatar entered into an arms deal worth A500 million pounds with BAE Systems. A7 million pounds was transferred into two trusts in Jersey of which Hamid was named as a beneficiary. In an attempt to prevent money laundering the funds were frozen from July 16, 2000 by the Jersey Financial Services Commission, who then began a court case and investigation. Hamid paid the Jersey authorities a £6 million as a voluntary reparation as the structures put in place by his advisers may have contributed to the cost and complexity of the inquiry. The case was then dropped by the Jersey authorities. Titles, Styles and Honours equals Titles and Styles equals, Sheikh Hamid bin Jassim bin Jabba al Thani, His Excellency Sheikh Hamid bin Jassim bin Jabba al Thani, his Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Jassim bin Jabba al Thani, Prime Minister of Qatar. Equals honors equals, honorary doctorate in humane letters from the Lebanese American University. Personal life, from 1982 to 1996 Hamad was married to Jawahar bint Fahad al Thani. Then he married Noor al Subay, the daughter of the former Minister of Education, in 1996. He has 15 children. References External links <laughs>